What's up, guys? We're doing the snap on today. Or, they, you know, well, they do us most of the time at snap on. But, here we go. So, bought these few, oh man, it's probably well over a year ago now that I bought them. Didn't really put, I put them to use for a little bit. They came back home. And now they've been, they were in use for like two months, maybe. I think, maybe a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. But, good, good amount of time. And... I'll start off by saying that they they bite pretty good. The the mechanisms, oh man, that me, the mechanisms pretty pretty shitty. Okay, I mean everybody else uses a rivet, use a button, or a really shitty rivet. This is probably among the lowest on the totem pole for rivets or attachments there or whatever. But this is this could almost be lower than that Craftsman as far as this goes. This nut and bolt thing. That's just something of the past, man. I don't know why they're still doing that. I don't know if their new stuff doesn't have it, but that's just garbage. As you can see, I think I've said this in a prior video. If I can get it to focus for you, you can kind of see it. I'm sorry. My camera's, I'm getting a new camera. We're going to do the whole editing thing. But anyways, um, I did put a tack weld on there trying to get it to stay with me. And eventually the tack broke. I put another one on. I kind of peened it, hit it with the hammer to get it to stay. And it does stay. It's pretty good now. But, and the jaws, as you can see, do line up pretty good now after that. But that's just really shitty, man. Everything else, I don't have to touch anything else. If it's channel lock stuff, the Knipex, you, you don't have to fuck it with, fuck with it. But that is just something that's just, not constantly, but, you know, every couple days i gotta tweak it or do something so that's pretty shitty um the teeth are very are i will say are pretty solid and if i can oh my gosh we are not gonna focus today are we i think my camera is about done guys i'm sorry it's gonna be a shit video because of this yeah well you can kind of see it there a little bit better i promise we're getting a new camera this is the last among the last videos we'll be doing with this camera here um, so the teeth are okay. They're actually pretty strong. They're probably the closest thing I've seen come to the Stawillas as far as teeth hardness. They're really stout. They actually work. That's actually pretty well done. The finish is pretty nice. If I can get it to focus again. There you go. And just for the part number, we're going to be looking at 91ACP. And then obviously the USA marking because they're American made. I would hope for their price. Um, let's see what else. Uh, as you can see, we had to ground some stuff off one day, or I accidentally grounded something with 220 volts in it, but you know, it happens. Um, so you gotta be careful, careful out there. Uh, these grips are actually really comfy. I did, I did enjoy these grips, they clean up nicely. They are starting to crack there a little bit, but that's from me incorrectly using them as channel hammers accidentally overshooting there but the metal is pretty solid besides me arcing it off somewhere but as far as the steel goes that construction is pretty well done uh, these handles are pretty nice they do grip they don't slip off too badly in the oil um, they're opening it's a nine and a half inch plier so it's not quite uh, I think it's like an inch and a half I believe which we can look that up real quick uh, where's one inch yeah, it's about an inch and a half there. So, just about average. I mean, I think these 10 inch pliers will normally go to two inch. They should be able to reach two inch. Yeah, it's about two inches there. So, but we don't talk about these. These, no, no. So, like I said, nice grips. Um, they're not worth money. They're way too expensive for what they are. And if you pay, you're paying at this price point, which is like 50, 60 bucks, I think, depending on if you get like a set, like a three piece set, you can get it for cheaper, I think, you know, to an extent, it's snap on. So, like I said, they're not bad. They're not worth the money, though, because for the same money, you can get some really good German made stuff. I'm not saying American stuff is bad. I'm just saying this American stuff is bad, specifically. So, I would do that if I was you. So, like I said, they're cool pliers, but. They're just not worth the money not for what the Snap-on's trying to sell them for. If you can pick them up cheap for used, that's the way to go. And I, I'd recommend that a little bit. But 
again, this is something you'd have to deal with. And maybe you come up with a better idea. Leave that in the comments of you what you normally do for that kind of shit. But um, that's about all I got for these channel locks. Um, I did also want to throw this in here. We're going to start doing the whole social media thing. This new camera's coming in. We'll do a little bit of editing, and I mean very little. Not No intro music and no intro, look at me, this is a commercial. No. But we're going to do some, just some little editing. Throw in some emojis, some smiley faces, some throwing up faces. The, what is that, palm type hand emoji. So we're going to do some of that. And I'm going to start up some, if you guys, let me know what you think. I wanted to start an Instagram for this channel. And that way I can show some more stuff at work. Not necessarily of what I'm doing, but maybe some of the tools I have at work that I don't really like to bring home. And some of them is company supplied, so not necessarily for me to bring them home. But, like I said, I'm going to start doing that. So let me know what you guys think of that. And as soon as I have a social media set up, um, I will, if I, I might have it already set up when I post this video. So I'm going to make sure to put a link or at least my the channel name. It'll probably be Instagram and maybe Facebook. I was kind of thinking that whole TikTok thing, because that seems to be going pretty big, but it's kind of a goofy little deal. So I'm not sure about that one, but for sure Instagram and probably Facebook. And I'll make sure to link that uh, down below. So check that out. Let me know what you guys think of the social media thing, if that's something you guys are interested in. So I don't, you know what I mean? And I'll let you uh, follow me there if you can, please. So check these things out. Don't fucking buy them unless you buy them for cheap. There's lots of other shit you can buy. Not worth the name. Okay? Check it out. Check out the social media. Thanks, guys.